Hi, welcome to Pikai Pharmacy. Today, in this video, we will discuss about telehealth, telemedicine, and telepharmacy. However, we will focus a bit more on the telepharmacy part. So, let's first learn about telehealth. So, telehealth is the use of technology to deliver healthcare, health information, or health education to distant populations, often living in medically unserved rural communities or those having problems accessing healthcare professionals and healthcare services. Now, telehealth is different from telemedicine in that it refers to a broader scope of remote healthcare services than telemedicine. Telemedicine refers to specifically remote clinical services, while telehealth can refer to remote non-clinical services. Telehealth played a significant role in India during the pandemic to flatten the novel coronavirus infections, but it was not noticed that much by the society or by the government. Now, the non-pharmaceutical strategies including social distancing, staying at homes, messaging through telecommunications, watching TV, news media helped in containing the infection to a significant extent. Now, telemedicine and telepharmacy both comes under telehealth provided remote healthcare services, including clinical and non-clinical services, then monitoring diagnosis, health education, and many more. Now the fact to be noted here is that telemedicine services are usually administered by the physicians, while pharmacists undertake the telepharmacy. So the telepharmacy is conducted by the pharmacists. Now let's move on to telemedicine. So according to WHO, World Health Organization, telemedicine is a healthcare service where distance is a critical factor by all healthcare professionals using information and communication technologies for the exchange of valid information for diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of diseases and injuries, then research and evaluations, and for the continuing education of healthcare providers, all in the interest of advancing the health of individuals and their communities. Again, I would like to focus on the fact that telehealth is very different from telemedicine. Telehealth refers to a wider range of technologies and services to provide like patient care, then improving the total healthcare delivery system as a whole. So telehealth is very different from telemedicine because telehealth refers to a wider scope of remote healthcare services than telemedicine, while telemedicine refers to only remote clinical services right now finally let's talk about telepharmacy now as a brief we all know that telepharmacy is the delivery of pharmaceutical care via telecommunication to patients in location where they may not have the direct contact with the pharmacist so here you can see that telepharmacy is the application of telehealth technology to pharmacy practice now when it comes to the definition the national association of board of pharmacy which is nabp defines the practice of telepharmacy as the provision of pharmacist care by registered pharmacies and pharmacists through the use of telecommunications or other technologies to patients or their agent at distances. So telepharmacy is the accurate delivery of pharmacy services through telecommunications, video conferencing like Skype, Zoom and much more to the patients who do not have the direct contact with the pharmacists. So basically, telemedicine associates itself more with the physician, whereas telepharmacy associates itself more with the pharmacist. Now according to American Society of Health System Pharmacists, which is ASHP, telepharmacy may include pharmacist activities like drug reviewing and drug monitoring, then dispensing of drug verification of oral and sterile compounding, then patient assessment, patient counseling, and medication therapy management. Therefore, the objectives of telepharmacy are, number one, to make high quality healthcare services available to traditionally underprivileged population. Number two, save the time wasted by both the healthcare provider and the patient in traveling and reaching to the healthcare provider. Number three, case monitoring, home care and remote critical care, number four, reducing the cost of medical care, and number fifth, the last, surveying and tracking of diseases. Now, there is a good news for you all. 
there is one such application that deals with telepharmacy in India and that is the Y help. Now the Y help is a pill reminder application that also lets the user to consult with the clinical pharmacist. Now according to a survey more than 50% of patients in India are not taking their medications properly and over 30% of patient readmissions in hospital are happening due to non-adherence to medications and non-adherence to medications means scenarios when patients are not taking their medications as prescribed by the physician. So apps like the Y help help you in such scenarios since you get the smart alert at your dosing time so that you don't miss your medications and it also lets you to connect with the health expert if you have any medication related questions like what to do if you miss a dose and what foods to avoid if you are on certain other medications in other words drug food interaction drug drug interaction then drug disease interactions now what i feel is that this kind of applications helps to make the user more aware of the medications in general so i feel you should all download this app at least give it a try the app is available on the play store and i will also post the download link in the description box below so please check it out so these were the things that you should know about telepharmacy now listen to me very carefully telepharmacy is a process when fully implemented will be a milestone in ensuring the aim the target that is health for all and seems to be the only workable solution in india right now and for many countries i believe so i hope you like this video thanks for watching stay healthy bye what you do for fun son what is your purpose questions like